Hello, 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 everybody. Today we are playing Diner in Black Ops 3. One of the coolest looking remakes I've ever seen. We're gonna have a ton of fun with it. I think I'm gonna do a two box challenge. I don't think the map has a very big Easter egg or anything massive to it. So we're gonna do a two box challenge uh, just to keep it a little spicy. Maybe we'll get lucky, maybe we won't. But I'm excited. I've definitely done maps like Diner before on this map. Um, and by that, I mean I've literally done Diner remakes before. And I said on this map. I'm getting all my words mixed up. It's at the very beginning. Can't be happening already. Uh, but let's see. Is there anywhere new I can access? I really like how the map creator did this. Where it keeps that kind of apocalyptic feel. Uh, like the post-nuke world. It feels a bit more like Halloween to me. Than post-nuclear. But that's okay. Got a double points nice and early. I'm loving it. Audio is going to be a big pain in my butt. I can already tell because for whatever reason, Black Ops 3 sounds ridiculously loud. Whenever I feel like the last time we played, it wasn't loud. I don't know. I can fix it later. Uh, that that still doesn't matter to you guys too much. You'll, it'll be good for you. Looks like we're playing as old Stulinger, uh, which is... Is that supposed to be like Black Ops 4 Stulinger? But he's not like full gray in Black Ops 4, is he? No, 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 hold up. And what I'm going to do, what I'm going to do, is I'm going to do a quick cut, and audio will be different for me, but same for you guys. There we go, that should fix it. Uh, audio should be a bit quiet for me, and I'll try to crank it back up for you guys. Shouldn't be a big problem at all. Terribly sorry, if you've been a long-time viewer of the channel, you'll know that I just can't stand whenever audio stuff goes awry. And you might think, well, why not just fix it in post? And it's because my own ears will get hurt, okay? <laughs> we got a max ammo nice and early, which I do prefer. I'm loving it. Uh, let's see. Let's see. What do I want to do, man? I guess we should probably get to the box before too long. I guess it's... Is it cheating I'm using the starting pistol? I don't think it's that big of a deal. But we'll go ahead and not use it anymore. And uh, we'll start the box. Let's see. What are we going to get? Give me some. Give me some fun. Oh, well. Okay. This is what I'm talking about. This is fun. I like it. Let's go ahead and get our second box hit as soon as I find the zombie. And what are we going to get? Something good? Let's see. Let's see. I did... Uh, one of the comments recently did say... Oh, baby. Okay. One of the comments recently did let me know that... Oh, that's type chat. I want to see. Sometimes you can inspect... No, it doesn't smack this. Uh, that if you do get EMPs or monkey bombs, you are allowed to uh, re-roll, which I didn't know. So I'm very, very happy to see that. Uh, but of course, it doesn't matter too much for this. Let's see. Now, uh, I want to start working towards Jug and Quick Revive, because if we do go down, it's just going to be a big old nightmare. Oh, it's also the beginning of the video. I know we're going a million miles per hour right now. Uh, guys, if you could, please like, comment, subscribe, all that fun stuff. It really does help the channel. Um, uh, and I, I can't thank you guys enough for helping out the channel. I'm really back, glad to be back full force with it. And that's just so much fun, man. I love, I love zombies. I love the community. It's just a good old time. Uh, but yeah, comments mean the most to me. I love the comment streaks. I love all the recommendations, all the maps. Um, again, I have a massive list. I keep a list of every single challenge recommendation. Just because, I mean, recently I made a video on a challenge that got recommended two months ago. Uh, it was called the Dead Snipers Only, and then there was also the, uh, what was it? It was on Origins by Everything You See in Order. And that was a ton of fun. Uh, so yeah, leave a, leave a suggestion. I'd love to get to it one day. I still gotta find Quick Revive. I... <laughs> I would b find it hard to believe that there is no quick revive. Why is it all the way over here? What a what an odd situation. I feel like maybe they could have put a barrier there, but I guess it's trying to keep the same theme of the other maps, where there's like no big barriers. The barriers are just to get into doors and stuff, uh, which is something you know that maybe goes unnoticed. That I'm actually surprised the mapper had a mind for. Now that I think about it, yeah, all the maps, town, farm. They have these big open areas that you don't need to buy barricades to get more into. But I guarantee you another mapper that doesn't care about that just but starts you here and adds a big old barrier that you have to open. Uh, I think that's really cool to like kind of want to make it fit in. Not necessarily a, a remake, but just more so, hey, what would this be if it was an actual map? And I gotta say, this is, this is feeling good to me so far. I definitely would like to get... Jug ASAP. I also think we need Galvanicles to open up Pack a Punch. I, I did look, would well, not necessarily look up. Oh, okay. Uh, I did look up, though, not necessarily look up how to get Pack a Punch. I was more so going through the uh, reviews and stuff on Steam for the map to see if it would be any fun. And uh, one of them was the Pack a Punch guy, and I was like, well, I don't want to get lost for 40 minutes in the video, so I'll take a look see. Uh, we just got to find two things and then use Galvanicles or. Well, and something else to open it. There he is. You know, I was going to keep it a surprise. Apparently, we can also have the uh, Avogadro shoot uh, later. Now, hopefully, this Avogadro isn't completely invincible like the last time I played. Uh, it wasn't Trans. It was Bus Depot. I wonder if it's made by the same guy. Uh, because they both were really, really good maps. Let's see. Let's see. I want Jug still. 
If, if, if the Avogadro starts speaking to us, then I'm gonna be able to tell, because the last guy, whenever we played the, I think it was Return to Bus Depot, uh, the Avogadro had a lot of voice lines. Let's see, are you gonna, are you gonna talk to us, or are you just gonna sit there and shoot me? Okay, I'm pretty sure it's the voice lines, but it could just be an Avogadro mod. I have no idea whether it's the same guy or not. Uh, but if we do... Hold up, we have transit shield. Uh, if we do want to kill him, we'll probably need Galvanicles. I think Galvanicles will let us take him down. Uh, I would like Jug. He's just going to be annoying. I imagine he's going to be invincible and he's just going to be around the map, but we'll deal with him. It'll be okay. So I got the car window. Where is the other part? And this is for the shield, not Pack a Punch. We'll get to Pack a Punch later. I don't want to start a music Easter egg in case we, uh, it's a little copyrighted. Let's see. Well, do we don't have a UI for parts. Okay. Okay, I got part of Pack Punch right there, and I know the other part, so it was Garage and Double Tap. I'm assuming Double Tap is in here. Oh, also our rounds look different. Bro, there's people in there. Wild. <laughs> so we need to find Double Tap. Uh, that is the objective right now. I might have already seen it and just not been paying actual attention to it. And I'm not too worried about running out of ammo in the welling because we do have the ray gun. I just make sure we don't go down. And there's the broken generator, uh, which is how we're going to need to open up Pack Punch, I do believe. Oh my goodness. The ray gun feels okay. It's very slow. Do you guys see how like slow it is? The ray gun is not normally this ridiculously slow. What? Oh, this thing sucks. <laughs> Hold up. Wait a minute. Ooh, a lot of damage there. Uh, Mr. Avogadro, if you don't mind. I Okay, you know what? I, I think he does mind. Oh, I don't love it. <laughs> this feels so awkward. It genuinely makes me uncomfortable. And we're getting crawlers on round six? What? That is terrible. No, no, no. Oh, uh, okay. I want to get the death machine just so I can completely rail into this Avogadro, although I assume he's going to be invincible. Um, maybe? Yeah, I think, I think he's definitely just invincible here, and there's nothing we're going to be able to do about that. Okay. Moving on. Uh, ba -ba -ba. let's open up the diner. Right, that's what we need to get into. Get into the actual diner itself. We also have wall buys, Olympia. Uh, no, don't, don't think so. And there's Speed Cola. Still no double tap. I do believe Galvin Knuckles are supposed to be up here, so maybe double tap will be up here? Yes, no, maybe so. Any luck, any world? Do you believe? I believe. We have a gun. There's the Galvin Knuckles. Hmm. Still no double tap. Okay. I'm probably just blind. Quick revive. Yes. Oh, can I open this? Hold up. Hold up. Wait a minute. Yes, I can. Oh, now we're getting somewhere. Good thing I noticed that. There was a very real chance where I just play through this map and was like, oh, I guess there's no double tap, guys. <laughs> I just miss half the map. It's actually really funny. So one of my first videos was on this map called Mori. Um... And it was gun game. And I opened up most of the map, but I missed a key area. Like, I missed, like, a third of the map. And it was pretty embarrassing because it was just, like, behind one door. And I didn't see it. I want this. And I would like the double points. Uh, but I just didn't see it. But we have Black Ops 4 saw max ammo. Uh, so, eventually, I go back to Mori. But this time, I play, like, the remake of it. So, there's Mori and there's Mori Reimagined or Mori Rebirth, something like that. And I go and play it. I'm like, ha, guys, see, last time I missed this area. But I didn't miss it this time. And I went into it. And they added a whole new area in Mori Rebirth that I completely missed. <laughs> and it was like a much bigger chunk that time. Um, I missed so... I, I, if Jug was in that part of the map. I was like, oh, can't, I guess there's no Jug. <laughs> uh, I was also on um, gun games, so you get perks and stuff. So I didn't have to find it. But man, whenever I was in like free cam going around trying to figure stuff out, it was embarrassing. Like, oh my gosh, I did it again. All right, let's head over here. Uh, double tap, double tap, double tap, double tap root beer. No, not quite. We got spooky scary. Again, more Halloween vibes, but that's okay. Grab the nuke, why not? Points aren't the biggest deal in the world right now. We have a SOG. Still no... Oh, no, there's double tap. Okay, so it's supposed to be a fuse around here. Did I get it? I think I got it. I heard I heard a sound. A uh, fuse under a can. Hmm. A fuse... Hold up, find the fuse under a can near double tap. I forgot I had it pulled up, I didn't just have to remember. A can. 
So whenever you say a can, what, what do you mean a can is? Mr. Avogadro, do you mind? I'm truly trying to figure out what a can is. I'm going through and I feel like there's multiple definitions. A can of beans is much different than a watering can. A gas canister is much different than a uh, can of beans. <laughs> oh, I held F for part. Okay. I wonder whether that was it or whether that was the transit shield. You must simply relax. Did I get the part? I got the part. I don't think the other Pack-a-Punch part gave us... I don't know. <laughs> let me let me just go interact with the generator over here and see what we can do. Or maybe I can see if I can build the transit shield now. Uh, Do-do-do. Would not mind the shield at all if you would give it to me. No. Okay. Curious. What gun do we have? Uh, KN57. Dude, I've been playing a lot of Modern Warfare lately. I gotta say, it is crazy to me why there's like seven versions of the um also is that the fuse yes the fuse was near double tap so we got it seven versions of the like the ak there's like the ak 74 or the ak 47 then there's like a different version of the ak 47 then there's the ak 74u and then there's like an smg ak which i thought typically the ak 74u was but it turns out the ak 74u is an assault rifle um, it is it is a little silly and then the RPK is a version of the AK and then there's the mini box Which is the PPSH which I didn't think had anything to do with the AK, but it's unlocked via the AK. So hey, what do I know? <laughs> All right, hey, Mr. Avogadro, you want to shoot this so I can save 6,000 points right quick or did he already shoot it? Oh, he already shot it. Nope. Come on, Mr. Avogadro. Shoot it for me. Zippity zap, big boy. All right, what well, I don't need you to melee me. I need you to shoot me. It's a little bit now you shoot me. All right, I see you. I see you just wouldn't be a little mean. I can just I can buy the galvan knuckles, but it's cooler if you work with me. Ugh, I can't stand you. Time to go about the galvan knuckles. <laughs> It'll also let us um be able to melee zombies because it's a should be a one shot until round 14, and I really would rather not use the ray gun too much. I can only dream once it's pack a punch it'll be better. I also can only believe that there will be a part in here for the transit shield. So give me one second, because yeah there it is. Because I was thinking if there were. If there was a part in the garage, hello, uh, game. If there was a part in the, okay. <laughs> if there was a part in the garage, and there was a part in that openable area, then it only made sense there'd be a part over here, uh, because that's just how it, how it goes. Different parts of the map, different things. So let's see. I want double tap. I want speed cola. I want to see if I can kill you with the Galva knuckles. It sounds like he took damage. Maybe I'm crazy. Did we just get a max ammo from him? Yeah, there we go. Galvin Knuckles, easy clap. Avogadro's out of here. I mean, he'll probably be back in like a round, but <laughs> it's okay. I think we also got points from him because there's no way three zombies gave us 2,500 points. Uh, melee that and turn on generator. So now I assume Pack-a-Punch is in there because it looked like there was stuff in here. Yes, awesome. Bum, bum, bum. Anything cool in here? We got grenades, grenades. Oh, trip mines, I suppose. Not grenades, a little bit different. And regular pack punch, 5,000. Okay, very cool. Let me see. Is that it? Awesome, I think that's it. So now we just need to survive using our weapons. Uh, I do want to melee just for a bit, because why not? We did spend 6,000 points on the Galvin Knuckles. We'll spend one round using them. Um, speaking of spending one round using melees, or rather just using melees in general, I haven't seen it yet because I haven't had the time. I've been a little busy with just some life things. Um, but... And I, okay, I say that. Let me let me clarify, because I'm gonna feel bad. I have been playing so much Modern Warfare. <laughs> it is disgusting how much of that game I play. And I keep telling myself, you know, oh, I'm playing it to get good at it for the videos. But in reality, I'm just I'm just enjoying it, man. I, <laughs> there's no there's no hidden motive. I just want to play the game and enjoy it. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. Okay. That's what I get for spending all my time. But anyways, what I wanted to talk about was Russian did a, I think, like, meleeing to only round 50, which is actually insane to me because meleeing even into the 30s on Mob of the Dead with the Golden Spork is miserable. I mean, meleeing in the 20s is, I mean, let me be honest with you, meleeing on round 11 is miserable. <laughs> I don't... I ugh, I would hate it. I would hate it. I I, I want it. That's why I um that's why I do this. That's why I upload try to upload every day is and eventually I will do things like that, but it's like, man, I, I like doing it because I love it. I love zombies. You know, you get a lot of zombies YouTubers who just complain like, oh this game sucks. I'm like, bro, what do you mean? I get to shoot zombies, I'm having the time of my life. Uh but that would make me miss <laughs> that would make me like just bang my head against the wall. Why am I doing this? Why is the world so cruel? Uh, let's use the well in here. We got double tap now, so its power is doubled. 
and I just like revolvers. I was talking about it yesterday in the Nuketown Pistols Only video. Uh, I just, I like revolvers. Dude, I, uh, commenter left a really good challenge that I want to figure out a good way to do, and it's basically like, I think they said they liked my idea for worst guns only, and what if I did something like launchers only on a map with or without PhD? And I thought about that, I'm like, sounds a lot more fun to do without PhD. <laughs> sounds a lot more fun to, to just make it harder, because that's something that does sound fun to me. It's like, oh, you know, just using grenades and launchers is, is very fun in zombies. Um, so I would love to do that. Let me, let me get rid of you again right quick, buddy. <laughs> he is such a joke now. It makes me so happy because he was so annoying in the bus depot map. Uh, but I need to find a way. I think if I did, I would want to start with a launcher. Which I feel like is better content because a launcher is an arguably worse than a pistol. But it does remove the 10 rounds of me running around with my knife trying to get a launcher. I think it's okay. I think if we just take the launcher at the beginning and we're okay. Uh, because it, it it's... That's the video, right? Like, starting with different guns, maybe? Starting with just miserable... Oh my goodness gracious. So yeah, I think we would do it and we would just start with a launcher. Because I can most certainly orchestrate that. And what if we did it on... Um, I don't know. I'd have to figure out what map I'd want it on. If you guys have any suggestions, please leave them in the comments below. Let's see, let's see. I want to get my guns pack-a-punched. Uh, more so the revolver than the ray gun, but I do want to see if the ray gun's messed up at all. So, yeah, we're probably going to go... Let me see. What, what's our time situation? We're at... Oh, we're at 16 minutes. Yesterday's video was around 20, or I think. I think we'll probably go to around, around 20 again. These these rounds are going quick. It's a pretty easy zombies map because I don't have, like, a million zombies running at me. What map was it recently? I played um, Garod Krovi, but it was with the, the, the gun game mod for World War II guns. And I... Now that I'm seeing how fast zombies are going on around 12 on here, that mod makes the zombies a million times harder. Because <laughs> they also are like, they have special zombies, they glow different, they're harder. It's like that, dude, that was killing me. I, I got so miserable at the end of that video, and that's why I ended it, man. Because I was like, I'm just going to keep going down here. I'm just going to get frustrated. I, uh, I'm i not going to put myself in this little situation here. Ah, uh, it's okay. Oh, I love, I love these remakes, man. I, oh, I love Black Ops Zombies. God, I love zombies. <laughs> it's just so much fun. I wish my friends played it, man. I have no friends to play it. Oh, some of you guys lately, um, it's funny, because at the beginning of my channel, it was, there was a lot of questions about this, but then they died down, and it seems like they're starting back up again. So I'll take this time to talk about it a little bit. Discord, parasocial relationships, hanging out together. Oh. <laughs> um, Discord and stuff, probably, probably not going to be happening. Whenever I have interaction with my fans, I want it to be in the comment section, or I want it to be in a stream. I absolutely 100%, let me upgrade the swelling right quick, uh, during my streams we'll be doing viewer games. So viewer games are going to be a ton of fun, I will be able to interact with you guys during that. Um, it'll be it'll be a good old time. For King and Country, by the way, very cool um, camo. I've never seen this camo before. This camo is like dope. I love that. Um, and, and you know, maybe we'll do voice chat, maybe we won't. Maybe it'll just be, you know, playing together and me still talking. But, it will be happening. I'm going to most certainly interact with you guys. I just got to start streaming, and that comes with its whole own set of things. I want to grow the channel a little bit first. I know, we'll see how it goes. Uh, but, also, I... Interesting, if I had a Discord, I... <laughs> I'm a social person, but I also don't plan to just have conversations with random internet strangers for prolonged periods of time. So, it's like, if I had a Discord and you guys were all in voice chat, that'd be awesome. You know, I have a community. But I'm never going to hop in that voice chat. <laughs> That's just not my scene. I, uh, you know, I mean, think about it. You guys are, you know, you want to talk about social people. I'm sure, you know, I have, I have a thousand people that watch my videos. Um, so you might think, oh, he has to be very social. He's talking in front of a camera. No, 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 no. My computer is in the living room of my house. <laughs> I, I am, <laughs> I am alone at my house with my animals at playing video games all day long, speaking to a microphone. Not the most social butterfly in the world. <laughs> Um, but yeah, uh, and it's, uh, I love the community, I do, but we just have to make sure that we're not thinking that, you know, and Ludwig says the best, I'm not your guys' friend. It's a very uneven relationship we have here, because, you know, some of you guys watch me daily, and you interact with me, uh, and you think, oh man, you know, this guy, I like him, I'd like to hang out with him, he's cool. I've never met you, you know, you might not have even ever left a comment, I have no idea you exist. It's a very uneven relationship, and it is unfortunate in that sense, but we're not friends. Uh, so I just want to make sure that is out there and clear because my, my style of channel is m mostly just me talking to you guys. Uh, it's just, you know, hanging out, which means that there's that room for it to get a little awkward. But 
whenever we hang out, it will be on stream. It'll be fun, but no Discord. Nothing like that, probably. Um, I post a little bit on Twitter. Not too much, but, you know, please, if you want to, follow. Uh, I, I do put updates on there occasionally, but I found that community posts are just the better way to stay in contact with you guys. But for other creators, I do um, reach out to them on Twitter. Because uh, I do have a... I do have a fun idea where I want to get other creators involved, but I need to think of how I'm going to start this series. I want to I want to iron it out because it'll be fun. So there's a very high potential here for me to start doing some, not collabs, but incorporating some other creators into my work. Um, and I have a few people that I could definitely talk to uh, that I think would help me because I've, I've been able to talk to a few of the bigger zombies YouTubers. I'm never, never asking them for advice, but just, you know, talking like, oh, dude, loved your video. And they'll be like, thank you. Um, cause I'm, I'm, I'm never the guy who's gonna be like, Hey, can you tell me how to grow? I want to do a, I want to do a collab because my, I, I won't get bigger. It's like, no, ew, <laughs> that's, that's weird. That's cringe. Um, but I, I do have some fun ideas. So hopefully those will be able to come to fruition soon. I just need to make sure I have the time and everything for it because my idea would be very, very time consuming. It could take like a week. And the issue is if I put a week to record a video, then what am I going to do? You know, how do I put my all into other videos? Because for channels like maybe Russian or Chrism, where they do upload, you know, once to twice a week, and they have these amazing videos that are really cool challenges, I want to upload daily, which means it's really hard for me to find the time to spend a week just doing that. I hope that makes any sense. But it's all good. Galvanical's not a one-hit uh, kill anymore because we are on round 16, and they stop being a one-hit kill at round 14. Do I have splash damage from the ray gun? I do. Sometimes if there's splash damage on guns, they'll remove it for the pack a punch version of PhD is not on the map. Yada yada, you guys know all this basic stuff. I'm trying to think. I get, dude, we really don't need a train. That's what I love here. Because uh, the reason I used to end videos at round 15, I, I still do on a lot of maps, depending on how much we're doing. Like Origins, where you spend 30 minutes on round 10, trying to, or before round 10, trying to make sure you have the staves. Round 15 is a good little area, because the zombies between round 15 and 20 don't get that much harder. Uh, but typically, in the round 15, 20 range, is the, the power level where you're going to have to start training. Um, like on the new time video, I had to train a bit. I have nothing against training, but I think training is just a little boring sometimes. I like to be able to do stuff, and you might think, well, man, he must love Easter eggs. God, no. <laughs> I do not. I like being able to go on the zombies map and do what I want. I'm like, ooh, let's let's use these guns. Let's make my own challenges. It's a big old, here's the crazy thing. It's a big old sandbox, and I can make the world and do what I want. And yeah, I play games like Minecraft. I'm like, what am I supposed to do here? What's my goal? <laughs> and it's like, you would think I would love it. But no, I'm just, my brain doesn't work that way. Let's see, let's see. Yeah, we've got three more rounds. Good little video. Had a lot of fun. Uh, oh, dude, my back. Whoo, mamacita. Okay, uh, I will be I will be back in just like one minute. Oh, me, oh, my. All right. Oh, my gosh. All right, so sorry about that. Uh, my back was like spasming. It, was, it, it wasn't like I was losing control, but it was very painful. Um, I, it was happening for like a minute or two before I paused, but I thought it would go away, and it didn't. So I did have to take a little pause there. So I'm, I'm a, it's been about... Eh, 20 minutes. I laid down for a minute to get my back a second. Normally don't have these kind of issues, but I've... Oh, no, 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 no. I've actually been like... <laughs> this is so cringe. I've been working on my posture while I'm sitting uh, in my chair because I was like, I sit for a lot of the day. If I keep my goblin pose where my head is near at my space bar and my elbows or my shoulders are, you know, a foot behind it, that's not gonna. That's that's gonna cause some real big issues in about in about a month or so. Um, maybe a little bit longer time from that. But so I was like, I need to look up proper posture. Uh, so I've been trying to follow posture guides while sitting, and it's taking some time to get used to. It definitely hurts. Um, so like after a while, because my back's not used to actually. My my standing posture amazing, perfect. My sitting posture no no no. So while I'm getting used to it, it's a little painful. But that I don't know. That was like my back just giving out. Probably just because I'm sitting in completely different ways than I'm used to. Uh, but yeah, that's probably what happened. Ugh, posture check. Ugh, ugh. It's okay. Let's see, we didn't try to buy five perks, I guess, did we? Uh, whoa, whoa, don't take it down, don't take it down. We're okay. We. Oh, that was a lot of damage to my face because of the exploding zombies. Uh, we'll grab nuke right quick, and I want to grab stamina just to see if we can. We can, so that's five perks. And is there a sixth perk on the map? I don't think so. Probably should do one last check around, make sure there's no more of this app that we... I forgot to craft the zombie shield. Uh, make sure there's no more of this map that we have missed out on here. Dun, dun, dun. Nothing back here, it seems. I'll just make sure I don't take a down. Nasty old down. Let's see, anything over here? I don't think I can open this door. Doesn't seem like there's anything back there. 
And that does not look like an openable area. No, I think we got it all. Very nice. Very cool. Try to get all the zombies together because the ray gun, of course, does work best. Uh, I think if we are just using the ray gun, we're going to have to train zombies because uh, the ray gun does have very high damage. Uh, one of the highest damages uh, for like a, a normal wonder weapon, not one of the crazy ones. But um, I remember a while back someone was like, the ray gun has higher damage than Mark II, which it doesn't. Because a lot of people maybe don't know that the Mark II has infinite penetration. I remember like Town before Buried came out, because Buried introduced the Mark II, right? Put it on every map. Uh, what you would do on Town to get a world record is you just get all the zombies together, and once they're all together, you spam the Rigan into them. Because of the splash damage, it can hit every zombie. Of course, it deals decreased uh, damage. Uh, it doesn't deal as much damage as the Mark II does, and because with the Mark II you can it has infinite penetration. You can just have it go through every zombie three times, and it is a ton of damage because the individual bullets do a lot more than the individual ray gun bullets. I do see we have a max ammo, and I would love to be able to use our uh, python thing again. So, right, we do have the good max ammo as well, so we can just go and swap to it because this is this is just a little bit more fun to me. And I do think we're going to end on round 20. So we're almost at the end of the video here. I do hope you guys have enjoyed. I had a lot of fun. It was a good little map. Sorry about the cut in the middle and the audio thing. A uh, little stuff like that frustrates me. And I know it's probably frustrating to hear me apologize, but it's not a big deal. Let's see. How many, how many, how many we got over here? Surely not too many. Bum, bum, bum. Come on. Let's finish it out, boys. I don't think there's a zombie counter. Sometimes they put stuff on different parts of the screen. I won't see it, but I'm looking around. I'm not seeing one. So I do think this is the last one. I think so. All right, guys. If you enjoyed, please like, comment, subscribe, all that fun stuff. But I truly did hope you enjoy. Um, you know, any comments, suggestions, anything like that, I, I'd appreciate it. Uh, but yeah. Oh, wait, no. <laughs> but yeah. Have a good one, everybody. And take it easy.